overflow. Amen? God has blessed us so much today. Amen? Amen? And to show us much more of His love, may I now leave you with our senior feast builder for you to be additionally blessed today. Please welcome Brother Arun Gogner. Let's give a big hand to Brother Jay. Thank you. Why am I here? I was supposed to be in Holy Land, right? Yes. January 28th, we, we, my, Lelaine and I, Lelaine went to an OB checkup, our friend OB. And nag ultrasound, and we saw our baby first time. We saw her heartbeat. Gusto ko siyang tawagin na her, babae. And then the, the OB said, I'll see you again before you leave. Parang gano, parang, let's see, let's look at her again. Okay. And then for one week, in the middle of that week, we went to her real OB, yung tita ni Lelaine, yung nag-aanak sa... At chinek siya at sabing, you're clear to go, you can go. And Monday before we left, Tuesday was our trip to the Holy Land. Monday, remember we prayed for, because we prayed for Lelaine last, last Sunday. La Sunday was her birthday, the first session. So, Monday, we went to the OB to have, our, have her ultrasound. Pagdating ng doctor, kilala naman namin, hi, saya-saya. Tapos, so, nag-umpisa na yung ultrasound. Nag-iba yung mukha niya. Tapos tumawag siya ng ibang doktor. And then she told us that our baby has no heartbeat anymore. So Lelaine cried. Ako, I just kept my composure na hindi ako iyak. Pero, pero grabe, durog puso ko. No? Tapos she, she keeps on explaining na uh, sa tinitingnan niya scientifically, medically, the baby will not survive because of ganyan. Tapos marami siyang sinasabi. And, and she was telling us, it's God's blessing to you. Kasi may hirapan ng baby. Baka pag laki-laki pa ng konti, mamatay din. Yung mga ganon, in explain niya. We were listening. The lane was crying. We were trying to accept, understand. And then I asked the doctor, only one question. When did the heartbeat stop? And she said, it looks like yesterday. And Elaine said, yesterday was my birthday. And she said, that's God's gift to you, to your family. And then he left us on our own and we prayed, we cried, we asked the Lord, we thank God for what happened. We prayed and we said to, to God that we do not understand why this is happening. But just journey with us in this healing. So we canceled our pilgrimage. The next day, Lelaine had her DNC. Iyakan kami sa bahay. Minsan nakahiga ako, iyak na lang ako. Tapos yung DNC na, we asked the doctor na, sana makita ko man lang yung aking baby. Ang ipinangalan ko sa baby namin, Angel. Eh, every time makita ko si Angel Loxin, maalala ko yung anak ko. <laughs> Tapos nung nila, pinakita na sa akin ng nurse, si Angel, Ang liit-liit, nandun yung ulo niya, nakita ko yung head. Ganito lang, parang kuko. Tapos maputi, maputi yung anak ko, maputi. <laughs> and then I just prayed for her. And I said, Angel, go home to Jesus. 
But you know, as I was saying those words, you know what is what my spirit was saying? My spirit was saying, the Lord has given. The Lord has taken. Blessed be the name of the Lord. I was reflecting on on our experience, our the gift that happened to us. You know what really comforted me was not were not the words of our friends, our loved ones. Hindi yung nakatulong yun eh, nagsasabi sila sa amin na yung mga kaibigan namin, pamilya na it's okay, you are blessed. Kasi pag lumaki yan, mahirapang nakatulong yun eh. Yung tinitext nila sa amin na Israel, Holy Land is just there. You can go after a few months. Nakakatulong din yung mga lalaking nagsasabi sa akin, mababawi mo rin yung pera na yun. Mahal yun, ha? Maba- nakakatulong, pero hindi yun ang nagbigay comfort sa akin. What actually gave me comfort was the real Jesus. Hindi yung may pag-asa pa. Hindi yun, eh. Hindi yung papalitan ni Lord ng iba It's the real Jesus. Parang when we realize, when the doctor told us that we lost our baby, you know, in my prayer, what I told God, I, I said, Lord, you, you don't need to explain yourself to me. You don't need to explain. You, you, don't, you don't need, Lord, to tell me that I can go to Israel some other time. You, can, you, you don't need to tell me, I'll give you another baby. You don't need to explain yourself. I'll just trust in you. I will just trust in you. And during those times of weeping, a good friend of mine, Buddy, texted me. And he reminded me of a song I've been singing many, many years ago. And in, in that song, just became the song of my journey in this pain. The song goes like this. God is too wise to be mistaken. God is too good to be unkind. And so when you don't understand, when you don't see His plan, when you can't trace His hand, trust His heart. So I just trusted in the heart of God. And that is my prayer for you. That if you are in the midst of your storm, you're struggling, you're in pain, you're suffering. Sometimes you will never understand. You might never understand. But trust this heart. We'll sing this song and I would just like you to look at the lyrics and just allow the Lord to speak to you. Just allow the Lord to comfort you right now. All things work for our good. Though sometimes we don't see how they could. Struggles that break our hearts in two. Sometimes blind to the truth Our Father knows what's best for us His ways are not our own So when your pathway grows dim and you just don't see Him Remember you're never alone God is too wise to be mistaken 
Everybody to stand up. Let us come before our God in faith. Continue to trust Him. Lift up to God all your troubles, your problems, your pain. Your suffering, your sacrifices. And just allow Him to give you comfort. Let the real Jesus comfort you today. God is here. We may never understand, Lord, Your ways. But we will trust You. And as we trust you, we will worship you. Lift up your hands to God, brothers and sisters. And allow Him to be your comfort. He is your hiding place. He is your safe refuge. He is your hope. He will never let you go. Nothing will separate you from His love. Nothing. Nothing. And do not allow anything to separate you from God's love. Not even your pain, your suffering, your sorrow. Worship Him now. Sing this song with us. Sing to the Lord. Lord, you are my heart. Lord, you are my safe refuge in every heart and in every pain. In my life, your love will reign and I'll forever live in your embrace. Praise to you, 
my soul will find rest in you alone. No walls are strong enough to keep me from your side. No sea is wide enough to keep me far away from you. trust you, O oh God. Lord, you are my hiding place. Lord, you are my sacred refuge. Every prayer from me will worship you. My heart sings a praise to you. My soul will find rest in you alone. The walls are strong enough to keep me from your side. No sea is wide enough to keep me far away from you. And I will climb the highest mountain. Praises to the Lord, your God is here. Sing your worship, sing your praises to Him.
Lord is given, the Lord is taken. Blessed be the name of the Lord. God's love is real, brothers and sisters. And the love of God is manifested through our love for one another. We are healing because of our loved ones, because of you, because of our friends. You are being used by God. You are standing beside people who are hurting as well, who are in pain right now. You know them. You love them. I would just like you now to be Jesus to them. Comfort them. Give them an embrace from God. And allow your embrace to be the embrace of Jesus. I texted our leaders here during those moments. I texted them, it's Good Friday for us, but Sunday is coming. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Tell someone next to you, your Sunday is coming. Let's give the Lord a big hand again. Thank you. Thank you, brothers and sisters. Can I ask you to sit down for a while? Let us prepare for our giving.